Hello, so today I'm going to show you a super simple recipe to make homemade pierogies. It only requires four ingredients, potatoes, sour cream, flour, and imperial cheese. And then after that you can add whatever you like into the filling of your pierogies. It's super easy to make and I always just freeze mine in separate bags and then when I want to have pierogies with a meal or just by themselves for a meal, then I will take out a bag, pop them into a pot, and make pierogies. My mom gets 100% credit for this recipe. She gave me the recipe and she taught me how to make them. And she made them all the time growing up, so she made me love pierogies. So this is 100% her recipe, not mine. Keep watching and I will show you how to make them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to peel and cut my potatoes into quarters and then boil them so that they can be mashed. So you're gonna wanna use five good sized potatoes, so like this. So I'm gonna peel these and then cut them and then throw them in a pot of boiling water. Okay, so I'm gonna stick my potatoes into my pot of water. This is an excessively large pot of water. You don't need one that's this big. And cook them until they are soft. So you're gonna cook the potatoes until you can stick a fork in it and then the fork will just slide right out. That means that they are ready to be mashed. Okay, so the other main ingredient that you're gonna use for the filling is imperial cheese. It comes in a little red container like this and you can find it just with all the other cheeses at the grocery store. And you're gonna use the whole container of it. So you can just open it up. It kind of seems a little hard, but you're going to mix it with the potatoes, which are going to be hot, which helps it to melt. Okay, so my potatoes are done, and I'm going to just mash these up a little bit with this. It's so hot. I'm then gonna add my imperial cheese and start to mix it up, break it up. It'll start to melt because of the heat from the potatoes. And it'll start to mix together. So pretty quickly it starts to mix up and the cheese melts. So I have this all mixed up. The potatoes and the imperial cheese is really all that you need if you wanna just make basic pierogies. But when you get to this point is really when you can have fun and add whatever you like. So I always add a little bit of grated old cheddar just because we really like old cheddar <laughs> and it just makes it delicious. So I'm gonna grate up some old cheddar and add that to this while it's still hot so it melts. I'm just gonna grate it right into the bowl just because there's no really set amount that you need. And then I'm gonna mix that in. It's still super hot from the potatoes so it usually melts really quickly. Just like that. So the other thing that I'm gonna to add today is I'm going to add some bacon just because I'm making these for my boyfriend and he loves when I put bacon in it. So I just cooked some bacon earlier and I'm just gonna break it up into little tiny pieces and then mix it in. But really you can add anything that you want to try. I haven't really experimented too much but I do wanna try adding like green onions and different things like that. You can also just look up on like Pinterest or Google and get lots of cool ideas of things to add. So there is your filling and now all that you have to do is make the dough. Okay, so for the dough, all you're going to need is flour and sour cream. So you're gonna need five cups of flour, just normal all-purpose flour. And then you're going to need 750 milliliters of sour cream. So if you just buy one of these tub 
things of sour cream, it works perfect. So you're gonna mix your five cups of flour and your 750 milliliters of sour cream and that's all there is to the dough, super easy. The dough can get a little sticky and messy, so I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. open this and put the whole thing in and then I'm going to mix it up so the dough gets super sticky so I recommend making sure your hands are wet it makes it easier to deal with the dough and I usually just add like a bit then mix it up and then add a little bit more So you're just gonna mix it up. Um, I usually start by using a spatula and then I use my hands just because it is a dough. So you kind of have to knead it. And I wet my hands and then I just kind of knead it together. It is very sticky, so don't be alarmed if it's like seemingly really sticky. Once you work with it a bit and then roll it out using flour and everything, it always ends up perfect. <laughs> And you need it to be sticky because you stick the sides of the pierogi together, so it has to be kind of sticky. Okay, so I have it all mixed together. My hands are nice and messy, and I'm ready for the next step. Okay, so for the dough, you want a very well-floured surface and a very well-floured rolling pin. So I'm just going to sprinkle flour on the surface. And on my rolling pin, just like this. You're gonna wanna just get um, a portion of the dough. It's gonna start with like this much. And then just work with it for a couple of minutes. Just knead it, put it in the flour, get it so it is ready to be rolled out. You kinda just need to work with it a little bit and it's easier to do in smaller chunks. You'll kind of be able to tell when it is ready to be rolled out because it won't be sticking. It won't be sticking really bad to your hands and the surface of the counter anymore. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it out. The very first time that I ever made progies by myself without my mom's help, I made, I rolled it too thin. And then when I cooked the progies, they, the filling was almost like coming out of them. So you gotta make sure that you don't do it too thin. So you can kind of decide how big you want your progies to be. I either, I have used both of these sizes to cut the circles out, but I like them a little bigger. So I usually use this one and then just put a little bit more filling in them. But if you want them smaller, it doesn't really matter. Also, if you don't have a circle cookie cutter, you could always just use the top of a glass. The top of this cup is almost exactly the same size as this, so you could just use that to cut your circles out if you don't have a circle cookie cutter. And then you're just going to cut out your circle with the cookie cutter. Okay, so you have your circle of dough, then you're gonna take a spoonful of the filling. You really don't need a lot of the filling. Place it in the middle. Just like that. And then you're going to take the sides and pinch them together, just like this. And then go all the way around and pinch the dough together. 
just like that. So as I'm making them, I just put them onto a cookie tray, either lined with wax paper or parchment paper, just like this. And then I usually split them up and I'll put them in a bag or cover the cookie tray or something and freeze them. They are much easier to cook if they are frozen and then I can split them up and have progies for multiple different meals. Sometimes when I'm done, I end up with some filling left kind of depending on how much I put in and how big I make the progies, but in that case, I always just either cover this up or put it in a freezer bag and I freeze it, and then the next time I make them, I have some extra filling to use. So after I'm all done, I have all my progies in separate bags, however many I decide that I want in each bag, and then I put them in the freezer and I freeze them, and then when I want to have progies, I just take out a bag and throw them into a pot of boiling water, they float when they're done cooking and then I put them into a frying pan and I fry them with onions because that's how we like them, but you can make them however you like. I personally like my pierogies fried with onions and with lots of sour cream, but let me know in the comments how you like your pierogies. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for another video.